we're back. Just want to kind of give you an update of where we're at today. Uh, today we got the uh, 38 Top Gun behind us. One of our friend's boat. Uh, got some hot drive work issues, leaking some oil. Kodiak's doing pretty good. We're pulling a pretty good hill here. It, uh, it's been running great. We got about a three hour round trip. So, she locked out in overdrive most of the time. Pulling 65, 66. But, uh, <laughs> you get it on the big hills, it'll come out of overdrive. But, not bad for a gas motor. Um, it's, uh, getting about seven, seven and a half towing, which is kind of what we figured for this thing, but uh, the boat has got quite a bit of fuel in it, so it weighs probably 16,000 on the trailer, with the trailer included, so we're going down 77 right now, getting over to uh, the shop where the guys are going to work on it, get it fixed for them, so we'll have to go ahead and get it back, but just want to touch base, that's what we're doing today. Good day. I always like hauling big boats around. Got trucks doing well. Seems to uh, really like to tow these heavier boats. And puts a little more uh, preload on the suspension and really just does uh, drive down the road really nice. So hopefully uh, tomorrow we can get back to working on maybe getting those molds uh, fit the boat real good and we'll uh, keep updating that. But that's where we're at today. 38 Top Gun on the trailer, going down to Simmons Marine, get some work done to it. Um, we'll get back at you, we'll give you some more updates later on. But uh, right now, we're just running the old Kodiak down the road. She's doing real good. Uh, gas mileage isn't the best, but then again, these eight ones are really cheap to work on, so I'll take that trade off. A lot of guys say you can't tow heavy with these Kodiaks that have the eight ones and they're really underpowered. And I mean, I think they do just fine. Um, I've, I've pretty much had every diesel, Power Stroke, Aramax, Cummins. I mean, uh, you can tune them up and they tow a little better, but then you know your transmission's pretty strained. So this truck here, you can just hold it to the floor if you want. It'll do its job get you where you need to be you put fuel in it but at the same time you won't put a set of really expensive injectors in it kind of some of the stuff that comes along with the diesels and i do love all the diesels i'm not trying to trash talk any of them i mean they're all great motors i think all the brands have their own flaws and their own ways but they are really good motors and it's just the new diesels don't get the fuel miles that the old ones do the old 12 valves used to get Hell, we used to get 15, 16 towing heavy loads. And nowadays, I mean, I got a buddy who just bought a brand new Dodge, $90,000 dually. And he's getting eight and a half, nine towing his boat. And this thing's getting seven and a half, and gas is a little cheaper than the diesels. So, I'll take my old 8-1 without a, without a payment. It's a good little shop truck, good tow truck. Uh, next week, we're going to pick up a, uh, pretty cool old project uh, we're gonna be dropping off for somebody he, he bought an old big old fountain old triple motor fountain we're gonna be picking up and dropping off so that'll be a cool little project and uh, I think coming up we have a trip going down to Miami and we're gonna be uh, moving around a, a 46 foot rough rider so uh, we'll see but here's where we're at today we'll get back at you guys have a good day